and thank you for watching your transplant medicine videos. This video focuses on one of your anti-rejection medicines called Everolimus. You will take the most anti-rejection medicines right after your transplant, when the risk of rejection is the highest. Everyone will receive tacrolimus and prednisone after transplant. Some transplant patients will also receive azathioprine. However, everyone is different and your anti-rejection medicines may have to be adjusted or changed over time to meet your needs. Although these three medicines are our standard, we do have others we can use if needed. This video focuses on Everolimus, which can also be used to prevent rejection after liver transplant. Everolimus is a very important part of your anti-rejection medicines. The brand name is Zortris. This medicine is taken twice daily, 12 hours apart. Choose a time that works with your lifestyle to make it easier to remember, but be consistent. Doses of Everolimus are personalized to each patient and are changed over time to make sure you are always on the right amount to keep you safe and healthy. Everolimus doses are adjusted based on a blood test. It is very important that you do not take your Everolimus the morning before the blood test. If you are getting your blood draws at a lab or clinic, bring the dose with you so you can take it as soon as your blood work is finished. Everolimus is available as three different size tablets, 0.25 milligram, 0.5 milligram, and 0.75 milligram. You may have to use different size tablets together to make your dose, so we will order you two different strengths to be prepared as your dose continues to change. You cannot crush, cut, or chew these tablets. They must be swallowed whole. The tablet may change in color, size, or markings based on the manufacturer. Changing manufacturers may affect your Everolimus blood levels. So reach out to your transplant team if you ever notice your tablets look different than your previous supply. Every medicine has side effects and it is always important to be aware of these side effects. So if you feel them at home, you can notify your transplant team. If you have side effects, there are ways we can help make them better. Please never stop a medicine because of a side effect. Call your transplant team for guidance. Some common side effects with Everolimus include increased cholesterol and blood pressure. We monitor very closely for this, and we also give you all the supplies that you need to continue monitoring blood pressure at home. We may need to start medicines to control them. Everolimus may also cause low white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Most people don't notice this. If anything, you may feel tired. We will catch this on blood work and make changes if we need to. Everolimus can also cause a type of kidney injury related to too much protein in your urine. We monitor your kidney function very closely after transplant. And if we find that your kidneys are not tolerating Everolimus well, we can make changes to your anti-rejection medicines. To keep your kidneys safe, remember to avoid the NSAID medications, including ibuprofen, which is brand name Motrin and Advil, naproxen, which is brand name Aleve, as well as high doses of aspirin for pains or aches. Ulcers, swelling, and tiredness are also possible side effects of Everolimus. This is an example of the medicine list you will follow after transplant. We reviewed how to read this list during the transplant medicine introduction video. Remember, Everolimus may appear twice on your list because there are two different strengths. Always be sure to look carefully at your list to determine 
which tablet the list is referring to, 0 0.5 milligram or 0 0.75 milligram. In this example, the patient's total everolimus dose is 1.25 milligram, 1.5 milligram tablet plus 1.75 milligram tablet at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Always look to the notes section for important information. There is a reminder to not take your everolimus until after your blood draws. Thank you for watching the Everolimus video. I hope you continue to enjoy our transplant medicine videos.